Chapter 2 of Seleust on the Gods in the World In such are the requisites for an auditor of the gods. But the necessary discourses proceed as follows. The essences of the gods are neither generated, for eternal natures are without generation. And those beings are eternal who possess a first power, and are all naturally void of passivity. Nor are the essences composed from bodies, for even the powers of bodies are incorporeal. Nor are they comprehended in place, for this is the property of bodies. Nor are they separated from the first cause, or from each other. In the same manner as intellections are not separated from intellect, nor sciences from the soul. Chapter 2. So what is chapter 2 telling us on the gods? So to break it down, it's saying the gods are not generated and they are eternal without generation, meaning that no god has been born. Again, despite the myths, the gods have not been born. They always were. So the myths of being Apollo being born on Delphi or Delos, I should say. That is a myth and not the way it is. And it also says they do not, they are not composed of bodies, meaning that this image of Athene or Athena is just that. This is not what Athena looks like in reality, for she is not composed of a body. And we'll get more into what that means later. So again, it's breaking the walls of what Greek myths and the myths that we've been told have told us. And this is the reason why myths are not gospels. That's one thing we have to understand. That the gods have always been around. So the son of and the daughter of and all that is a myth. And the gods do not have physical form bodies like this. They are material, but they are not human as you see Athena in the statue. And that's a good thing. It also says in this chapter, the reason it's good is because to be corporeal or in body would mean that they are stuck one place at a time. But being incorporeal and not being contained in one body, then they can be many places at many times. And sometimes multiple places at multiple times. So they're not confined to body. So, what do you guys think of chapter 2? Are the gods born? Do you believe the gods have physical bodies? Let me know in the comments for chapter 2 in this series. Like I said, that some agree with and some do not. Anyway, I'll see you on chapter 3. Bye.